a really short video this time. This is just to show you how to use or create a songbook entry when you are playing along with a MIDI file or an MP3 file. The first thing I usually do is if I go to my files here, and if you have a look on my SD card, I have a folder. So any MP3 backing tracks that I use as part of a setting, I store in one place in one area. You could do it on the Korg disk. I've chosen to do it on my SD card. But if I open that up, there are my SD, um, sorry, SD files, MP3 files that I will use as part of uh, a registration or a, a songbook entry. So normally songbook entries, we're, we're saving styles and, and for settings. But if we tap style and we go to song and I'm going to go into my MP3s and I'm going to choose my backing track for the uh, song Songbird, uh, Kenny G song. So we'll use that. So that's now loaded. I've got my four settings and all you would now do is make your songbook entry in exactly the same way as you have done before. Press and hold, new songbook entry. Now it's given it the name of the, the MP3 and that's fine in this case, but you could change the name if you needed to. Save, are you sure? Yes. Let's just tap the songbook button. So now we've got an entry called Songbird, but if you look, instead of having the style icon, we've now got an mp3 icon and if you want to add that into a set list as we showed you in one of the other videos you can do so i know there's some people who load a registration then go searching for the song you can actually save the song or the mp3 that could have been a midi file as part of your songbook entry hope that's made that clear